From vegetables to meat and even those little indulgences, the cost of groceries is climbing. We had a suspicion that prices were going to go up, but I don't think we realized how bad it was going to be. According to the latest government data, the price American consumers pay for groceries is up 3.5 percent over the last 12 months. For a family of four, that could add up to as much as $500 more a year. Analysts say on top of the pandemic, truck driver shortages and this winter's severe storms are in part fueling the uptick in prices. The whole supply chain is increasing and nobody wants to absorb that cost. So unfortunately, the person or people that are going to bear it are, are the consumers. A growing list of popular companies recently raising prices. General Mills, maker of Cheerios, announcing it's increasing prices to offset higher freight manufacturing and commodity prices. Hormel charging more for products like Genio ground turkey in light of higher grain costs. And the price of a jar of Jif peanut butter is higher than a year ago because maker J.M. Smucker says its costs are meaningfully higher. To save at checkout, experts recommend trying apps like Ibotta, which gives cash back on purchases, and Basket, which compares prices between stores near you. Also, stock up when the price is right. You've got to think about what you routinely use, and if you see it on sale, you certainly need to buy it in bulk. And the prices of just about everything but beef are expected to keep going up this year. And it's not just supermarkets that are impacted. Costs at restaurants are climbing as well. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News. Los Angeles.